Hey everyone. So if you've missed it, highly recommend you go back to videos one and two of my Universal Yums UK adventure. We've tried Mackey's Honey Mustard Potato Crisps. Super good. We've tried Grandma Wild's Toffee Flapjacks. Mm. Bristow's Sherbet Lemons. So tasty. Bristow's Bucks. Fizz Chews. Mmm. They were orange and champagne. So good. Johnny's Pickled Onion Rings. My new five favorite snack. Dean's Shortbread Rounds. Oh, so good. So buttery. And Claude, uh, sorry, Yummy Banana Toffee. Yummy Banana Toffee. Very banana flavored. And Clotted Cream Fudge. Ah. Oh so good. Next, we're on to something I was a little suspicious of, but whatever, we're going to try it. Welsh potato crisps, lamb and mint. I mean, I can smell the mint. up. Mmm. Okay. Hold on. Lamb and mint potato chips. <clears throat> Looking for lamb? You can't go wrong in Wales. The 11 million sheep outnumber humans three to one and account for 80% of Welsh agriculture. But within Wales, there's no better place for lamb than the quaint town of Brecon, located just below a mountain range where thousands of sheep are raised. Hmm. The town is known for super soft wool products and delicious lamb dishes, including the mint seasoned roast lamb that inspired these crisps. The best part, no actual lambs went into making them unbelievable. No. I mean, the mint keeps it really light. And it definitely does taste like lamb. Coming from someone who doesn't eat lamb. <laughs> I mean, not that I don't, I just don't make it a habit. Mmm, okay. It's another candy now. Chewy bonbons, rhubarb, and custard. It's a bunch of these. I wonder if I'm going to make that face. <laughs> Let's read about them first. <clears throat> rhubarb and custard chews. In England, few desserts are as fancied as the fool. Now, don't go thinking Brits run around licking clowns or anything like that. In Britain, Fool refers to an extremely popular parfait-like dessert made of alternating layers of custard and boiled fruit, or most popularly, boiled rhubarb, and a unique veggie with a tangy berry-like flavor. I love rhubarb pie, by the, by the way. It's this variety of fool that inspired these juicy chews. Beware, they may make you wish your fave candies were a little bit more foolish. Mmm, they smell... They smell delicious. Mm. They're very hard but chewy. <laughs> mm. Mm. Okay. I'm not a big fan of custard, unless it's frozen custard. The rhubarb in this tastes really good. The custard tastes like custard. I'm just not a huge fan of custard. So I think these, I would probably pass on. I mean, if there were no other dessert, I might have those, but
Mm. They're okay. I'll probably take them to work. And let the co-workers at work try them. Mm. I've been waiting for these since day one. To be fair, I've had these several times in my life. <clears throat> Pint crisps. Gosh, Sarah, say it, don't spray it. Kent crisps, Ashmore cheese and onion, cheese and onion potato chips. Open this package and take a whiff. Mm. The bold cheesy aroma you're smelling, that's the defining scent of UK crisps. Introduced in 1962, cheese and onion has consistently beat out other top contenders, including salt and vinegar and paprika for the spot as UK's favorite crisp flavor. This particular variety is extra special. It's seasoned with prized Ashmore cheddar, prepared by master cheesemakers in Canterbury, England. Basically, you're, you'd better quit sniffing and start noshing. You don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> no, these are more of the fry potato chip that I'm used to, as opposed to the thicker, Baked is kind of like a kettle chip. It's so crispy. Mmm. These are so good. I mean, mmm. Mmm. Okay. Mmm. So good. Let's do some more trivia. <clears throat> Which of these words was invented by Shakespeare? Wicked. Dude. Rubbish. Swagger. Things can be swagger. It is! Shakespeare's 1595 play, A Midsummer Night's Dream was the first time the word swagger, meaning to strut with a defiant air, was used 400 years later and the term was repopularized by Jay-Z, this time as a noun meaning bold self-assurance and style. So does this mean Shakespeare had swagger? <clears throat> mm. Okay, and before I try my last one, by the way, there's other stuff in this booklet, like, From the pen to the screen. Connect the UK author in column one to their book in column two. Then match the book in column two to the character from that book in column three. Then match that character to the UK actor who played them on screen in column four. There's also how well do you know UK hits? Think you know these iconic lyrics from across the pond? Well, time to find out. Then find these hits and more on our iTunes playlist, or sorry, on our tunes playlist at universalyums.com slash tunes, or by searching Universal Yums on Spotify. They got David Bowie, Heroes, Oasis, Wonderwall, Tom Jones, It's Not Unusual to Be Loved by Anyone, <laughs> Adele, Someone Like You, Led Zeppelin, Immigrant Song, Queen, Bohemian Rhapsody, I'm just a poor boy. Nobody loves me. Seven. Uh, One Direction. What makes you beautiful? The Beatles. Hey, Jew. Elton John. Tiny Dancer. Hold me close. Tiny Dancer. <laughs> Count the lights on the highway. Ed Sheeran. Thinking out loud. Spice Girls. Want to be. If you want to be my lover. <laughs> and the who. Baba O'Reilly. Don't cry. Don't graze your eye. It's only teenage wasteland. I'm not doing them all justice. Okay, last trivia question, and then I'm going to try my last thing. 
Northern Irishman Hans Sloan is credited with the invention of A, caramel apples, B, chocolate milk, C, pumpkin spice, or D, peanut butter. B, chocolate milk. In 1687, Sloan, a student in the UK's National Academy of Science, in 1687 traveled to Jamaica. As the story goes, he noticed locals drank cacao with water which made him nauseous. Me too. He mixed it with milk instead, not only inventing chocolate milk, but setting up the invention of milk chocolate. Thank you, Hans. Thank you. Which brings us, oh, there's a whole bunch more stuff that we didn't do. Hang on, before I go to it. Ah, they tell you all these kind of stuff too, like a day in the life, enjoy a full breakfast. It tells you about what Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland, England, all enjoy for their breakfast, uh, typical breakfast. Talks about if you went to school in England, this is what you'd wear every day. Uniforms. Um, and then it gives you slang words. So let's eat this next thing and we'll do slang words. This is Bristow's chocolate limes. Lime hard candies with chocolate filling. Stonehenge, Loch Ness. The UK is teeming with seemingly inexplicable mysteries. Here's one more, chocolate limes and a cat. <laughs> it's hard to believe anyone put these two flavors together in a candy, let alone it'd be explosively popular. But this unusual sweet with its hard lime flavored shell and smooth chocolate center has been a UK candy shop staple since it debuted in the 1980s. Pop one in your mouth and decide, is this truly an inexplicable mystery? or an open and shut case. Mmm. That lime tastes like a lime skittle. Woo! Mm, mm, mm. Well, I'm sucking on it. Let's do some sleepy slang. Below are British slang words you might hear before bed. See if you can write each one in the correct sentence. Our choices are budge up, fanny about, kip, knackered, and codswallop. First one, I was up 18 hours waiting for my UK box to arrive. Now I'm blank, knackered. Sentence two, keep it down. I'm trying to get some blank in here. Budge up, fanny about, kip or cod swallow. Mm. Budge up. If you want to get a be to bed at a reasonable hour, you'd better not blank, fanny about. Could you blank? You're taking up the whole bed. Ooh, budge up is that one. So the so it must go. I was eighteen hours. I was up 18 hours waiting for my UK box to arrive. Now I'm knackered. Keep it down. I'm trying to get some kip in here. If you want to get to bed at a reasonable hour, hour you'd better not fanny about. Could you budge up? You're taking the whole bed. I dreamt I was in one direction. The boys were crisps. It was total cod swallow. Yep. And then they have like sports that you can match with their appropriate equipment. Hmm. Well, hmm. The chocolate inside is smooth and almost liquidy and tastes like a high-end Tootsie Roll. All right, y'all. Thanks for visiting the UK with me and trying my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven snacks. 
Is it 11? One, two, five, six. Yeah, 11 snacks. I'll get another one next month. I don't know where we'll be visiting, but I hope you join me. Mmm. There are 12 snacks in here. What did I miss? Oh. 12. All right. Love y'all. See you soon. Bye.